The British Ministry of Defence had briefed the Indian Defence Ministry and Indian Air Force officials about the potential for collaboration for the Tempest 6th generation fighter programme during Aero India 2020, and now they are planning to advance discussions further with India in the upcoming Aero India 2021, and they will make the commercial and financial presentation of the Tempest to get India on board the programme. UK and Sweden are the only partner countries who have joined hands to develop the Tempest, while France and Germany have initiated their own sixth-generation fighter program, and since then the UK has been keen to collaborate with India, as it needs a major international partner not only for financing the program, but also as the launch customer of the fighters when they are ready to enter production in 2035. It is to be noted, that India and UK are in the advanced stage of discussions for the joint development of a 110 kN engine, that will be equipped on the Mark II variant of AMCA fighter jet. The Cabinet Committee on Security has approved the fast-tracking the corporatization of Ordnance Factory Board, but the government has not announced it officially due to the sensitivity of the issue. A group of ministers headed by the defense minister is looking after the process of corporatization, and two consultancy firms are assisting the government in this process. Through corporatization, the central government will focus on adoption of new technology into the ordnance factories, private investment as well as efficient governance. The Department of Defense Production will soon release a second list of negative items to curb the import of defense equipment, and the government is planning to add around 1,250 items to the second negative list. A senior computer and intelligence expert has said, that unmanned combat aerial vehicles are important for the future Indian military, as they are capable of stealthily entering the enemy airspace with a payload, and has the capability of engaging both air-to-surface and air-to-air -air targets. He also said, that unmanned combat aerial vehicles are going to replace 80% of the operations that are presently carried out by manned aircraft. He also added, that major investments in EW systems will have to be made to effectively target swarm UAVs, disrupt the guidance channels of standoff systems as well as intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft, and they can even interrupt satellite functions of the adversaries. The newly created National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence has said in its report, that the U.S. Department of Defense should negotiate formal artificial intelligence cooperation agreements with Quad Group of countries, and that the U.S. must build on the strength of its partners to win the global technology competition and preserve free and open societies. The China Study Group held a meeting yesterday to examine the latest Chinese proposal that was made during the recent military commanders meeting. India has conveyed that it would revert at the next meeting after examining the details. The proposal could include moving back forward units like armored vehicles deployed by both sides at strategic locations. The group will make its suggestions to the Prime Minister, based on which a decision would be taken.